Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a fun one for you today. We've got this animated pricing table. As you can see, our middle version there is scaling up and scaling down. Got it doing it over a five second period. That's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if you look at that. Really easy to do, got to do a bit of coding, but as usual, any code I write, I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to copy paste it, use it how you will. Okay, well let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside the section, I've got a green tab, which is a row with three columns. I'm going to delete that and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to hit the little green button to add a new row. I'm going to put three columns in mine. Pricing tables do actually let you put them side by side, but I want to separate mine. That's why I'm using three columns. And let's look down here. Let's find a pricing table. There we go. By default, it actually puts in two. I'm only going to have one in each column, so I'm going to delete the second one there. I'm not going to spend too much time styling it. I'll just give it a bit of color and then I'll duplicate it. So I'm going to go into my first one here, give it a title, subtitle if you want to, the currency, choose your currency there obviously, frequency per month, if you want to put a frequency per month, or whatever it is you want to say, it'll put it in there after a little dash for you, not particularly interested in having that today. Price, we'll leave it at 50. Button, let's pop a button in there that says buy now. And you may have noticed there's no button there. That's not going to show up until we put a link in there. For features that are included, just have a plus before them. Anything you want to exclude, just change that plus to a minus. If you look down here, when I change that to a minus, that will fade out a little bit. There we go, just like that. Down below in the link, this is where we put the button link in. And the button's not going to show up, like I said, until you put that in there. Great. Well, the only other thing I want to do, let's just decorate the top part there, which is the title text. We give it a purple background color. And perhaps our pricing text. I'll give that the same color. And let's just give it some slightly rounded corners. I'm going to go down to border maybe give it 10 pixel round as long as you've got the little chain checked it'll do all four for you I'm going to leave mine just like that and what I'm going to do now is save it save the main pricing table settings I'm going to duplicate the module with the two little squares there twice one two and drag the other two over Doesn't matter which one you drag, they're all exactly the same. And let's just go in here and we'll change the price. And title. Just so you can tell the difference between them. And we'll do the same for our next one here. Like I say, you can put these all side by side in the same column if you want to but it doesn't give you any separation between them. I like to have a bit of separation in mine. Let's make this one gold. And let's say 150. Okay, well, we got three little pricing tables there, very simple. And this middle one, I wanted to animate up and down so that people are gonna see that one above all the others. All right, well, I'm going to go into my middle one, this one that wants animating. I'm going to go over to my advanced. I'm going to give it a CSS class, not an ID, a class. Make sure you put it in here. I'm going to call mine PT Grow for price table grow. Call yours what you want. It wants to be unique, and I like mine to mean something to me. Okay, well, let's make this happen. To do this today, I'm going to use a little code module. Let's hit the little plus. Let's find us a little code module and here it is right here. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to be writing CSS, so I need to put style tags in. This is the only part I can't put down below because of the pointy brackets. But style tags are simple. Left pointy bracket, the word style, and right pointy bracket. When you when you put in your right pointy bracket, it'll put the closing style tag in there for you. Any code you write wants to go in between there for CSS. Okay, we gave it that class name of PT Grow. So that's all class names have to have a dot or a period in front of them when you write them in the code. And the name, PT Grow. Great. Let's open and close some curly brackets and decide what we want to actually do with this. Well, I want it to animate, so I'm going to say animation colon then we need to give our animation a name let's call it p table or something like that again it wants to be unique it wants to mean something to you i want it to run for maybe five seconds obviously change this if you want it faster put in a smaller value if you want it slower put in a bigger value i want it to keep doing it infinitely so i'm going to say infinite great well now we've told it what we want we've actually got to create this animation so let's drop down one more. We're using keyframes for this today. So we're going to say at keyframes and the name of it, which is P table up there. Now we know and close some more curly brackets and actually build the animation. So when the page loads or second one of our five seconds there, I'm going to say 0%. That's when it starts open and close some more curly brackets I'm going to say transform colon scale F-C-A-L-E at the end of the E I'm going to put some round brackets and tell it how much we want it to scale well initially I don't want it to scale at all I want it to stay exactly as it is so I'm going to put a 1 in there which means both width and height will be 100% but I'm now going to copy this a couple of times just the first bit from the 0% to that first closing bracket. That last closing bracket is encapsulating the whole of our keyframe, so we don't want to copy that. Control C to copy. I'm going to drop down, paste it once, drop down, Control V to paste it again. At 50%, I want it to grow. And back at 100%, I want it to be as it is, back to 1. So at 50%, I'm going to change that to. We'll try 1.1. I think that's going to be a little bit too much. That'll be 10% bigger. As you can see, that's now pulsing over a five second period. And it's growing 10% bigger. That's okay. I wouldn't mind it being a little more subtle than that. So let's make it 0.5, 1.05, which would be 5% bigger. That's great. Yeah, that works for me. Like I say, you can slow it down if you want to, if we put 10 seconds in. It's making it a lot more subtle. It's rolling it over 10 seconds there. And if you want to speed it up, well, let's put it down to three seconds. That works pretty well, but I like my original five seconds. Now when they hover over it, I want it to stop doing the animation so they can roll down and click on the button and read the features and what have you without it moving around. So let's do that. I'm going to copy this class name here, PT Grow, including the dot. I'm going to drop down after our last curly bracket there. I'm going to paste it in, Control V. With no gap, I'm going to put a colon at the end of the grow there and the word hover so we can create a hover state. I'm going to open and close some more curly brackets here. I'm simply going to say animation colon none. So the animation will stop when they put their mouse on it. Let's try that out. And as you can see, it's stopped. It's gone back to normal. If you wanted to, you could keep it at 1.05 by adding that line in there. Control C to copy drop down after the semicolon and it would stay larger than the other two that's entirely up to you I'll leave that just as it is 
and let's check it on the front end make sure everything's gonna work for us and don't forget all this code I'll put down below the video if you put it in your CSS if you put it in your additional CSS panel you don't need the style tags if you're going to use a code module you do need the style tags you'll have to write those in so let's save this save the page changes and exit the visual builder roll on down there's our little pricing tables and as you can see that one in the middle is pulsating and growing by 5% over five seconds. If we hover over it, it's going to stay at 5% larger and stop animating. People can go over. <laughs> I've spelt by now wrong, obviously, but you want to correct that. Take your mouse off, it's going to start animating. So there you have it, guys. This is how to create a little price table animation. Those little animations can get people's eyes on them pretty quickly, which is what you want in a website. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.